Look what arrived this morning in the post. I'm going to open it with you. It's taking my time. Okay, so here it is. So it comes from Tom Studio. So that's the invoice printed on recycled paper. I love that. And then let's open the tiny envelope and reveal what's inside. Oh, I'm quite excited to test that. Okay, so I've ordered two of them. So these are the One Dip Wonders from Tom Studio. So it's, well, I think it's a genius invention. It's a tiny, well, I call it a retainer, which enables to capture more ink um, in your nib, and which means that you can write for longer, which is magic. So I've decided to do some tests with a few different inks. So this is uh, Black Sumi ink. And let's see how far I go without using the One Deep Wonder. Here we go. So I've speeded up the writing. Okay, so I can go up till there without using the, the One Deep Wonder. Okay, so I'm now trying with the One Deep Wonder. And as you've seen, it's quite easy to insert and it holds onto the nip with a magnet. Okay, so don't pay attention to the calligraphy. I'm writing quite quick here. So don't judge the calligraphy. It's more to give you um, an idea on how long you can go with the same amount of ink if you just add the one dip wonders. Okay, so I've already passed what I've done, what I've done without the retainer. Okay, I'm still going. There's still quite a lot of ink. It flows quite smoothly. Okay, let's keep going. Wow, that's that's amazing. This makes such a difference. Well, it really works well with the Sumi ink which is great because it's an ink that I use quite a lot on commissions. And I could still go further. I've just decided to stop and try uh, some other ink. So, I will now use some gouache uh, ink that I made using some uh, green gouache in here that I diluted with some water and also added a bit of gum arabic. Okay, so let's start again the same test. So first without using the One Deep Wonders. Okay, yeah, I've noticed that before, that I usually can go a bit further than using a uh, normal ink. So I pretty much can write an entire um, line without using the retainer. Let's quickly add the retainer and put some more ink. Okay, so I've passed it again.
Yeah, so here as well, you can clearly see the difference. I can write much more. That's great. That's perfect. Because again, I also use a lot of um, gouache on my commissioned work. Okay, so let's try now with some um, Ecoline liqui liquid watercolor. I'm going to be honest with you, usually I don't really use it with a pointed pen because, well, that's my own experience. I don't think it's work it, it works very well. But let's have a go. Okay, so let's put some more. Here it goes. Yeah, that's what I expected, yeah, from my experience using Ecoline. I usually can't write too much. Let's see if it makes a difference when I add the one dip one. I think, yeah, I can see that it starts already to fade the colors, yeah. So I'm not doing much more. Okay. It's not really a surprise though. Okay, yeah, but you can clearly see the difference when you use either the Sumi ink or the gouache. Okay, so let's do a last test. So I will use now some um, metallic uh, watercolor that I will apply with a brush. Again, I will start first without using the one dip wonders. Okay, yeah, that's pretty much what I'm used to. That usually it stops after one or two words. And let's see now with the one dip wonders. It doesn't make any difference, but it's not really a surprise as if you go on the website of Tom Studio, they clearly mention that with some um, metallic watercolor, it doesn't really work well. Anyway, overall, I'm super pleased with the One Dip Wonders. I think it's a real game changer and it makes a difference when you use calligraphy ink or gouache. In the description, I'll leave the link to Tom Studio's website where you can get the One Dip Wonders. Thank you for watching.